Friday. So yesterday, if you watched my leg workout yesterday, it was how you could do more of an upper body workout from home with minimal equipment. So today we're going to do a leg workout with minimal equipment. So I've got Angie here to go through it. Um, so <laughs> all you really need, if you saw my post earlier, is about one, maybe two medium to medium heavy weights, depending on um, where you're at with your fitness level or what you have available. Um, you guys, if you have a band, awesome, like the bands we use at Emerge, right here, grab one of these. Um, if you don't have it, again, not a big deal. Um, it will just add a little bit extra resistance. And if you have like a floor, like a hardwood floor or anything like that, um, that you could get a towel and slide on, you can get that ready. But again, if you don't have that, not a big deal. So, we're gonna do a little leg circuit. Remember your glutes are three different muscles, so we wanna hit all of it. Um, we're gonna get going. So, Angie is gonna only do three rounds of it. I wrote down three to five. Again, it'll depend on how heavy your weights are, if you wanna go more, or if you just wanna go more, go at it. Um, so, First exercise that she's going to do, everything's 12, so I made it really easy to remember, so you can just kind of go through your circuit. I'm going to have Angie grab the kettlebell. So we're going to use just a 35-pound kettlebell. Angie's really strong, so um, it's probably not heavy enough for her, but we'll get it right. So she's just going to do a straight leg deadlift, 12 reps. So I'm going to squeeze around to the outside. Um, so notice that she's keeping her back really nice and flat. She does have a slight bend in her knees, um, just so they don't lock out, but she's sending her hips straight back. And she's doing 12 reps of these. The kettlebell is going straight up and down. It's not going too far ahead of her, too far behind her. Looks really good. Perfect. Okay, this is exercise one. Doing a lot of hamstring, a lot of glutes, and core involved. Um, the next exercise, we're going to do play squats, but we're going to add a little extra element into it. I'm going to get this plate out of the way. Um, so she's going to elevate one of her legs. If the plie is too much for you guys, um, I'll grab Instagram too so you guys can see how her feet are. Um, the plie would be with her um, with feet really angled out, so right out, more like ballet dancer style. She can bring them in just a little bit to be more sumo style. Or again, if that's just too much for your flexibility, um, you guys can just have a normal squat stance. She has no weight right now, but if she wanted to, she could totally grab that kettlebell, add a little aspect to it. So she's doing this really well, but one thing one pe people will like to do is um, since that leg that's propped up is doing a lot of work it's, and it doesn't want to do that much work because it's constantly under retention, it's going to want to push her more onto this leg that's on the floor. She's doing a really good job still staying in her midline and getting all of that inner thigh nice and working. So again, she's going to do 12 on each side. So if you're at home, let us know how you're doing. Let us know if you're using a kettlebell. Um, let us know if you are being clever using laundry detergent. You want to do your other side so you're balanced. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're not as good as Okay, I don't want you to have one leg that's yeah. <laughs> dying. <laughs> you have two sides, two both sides. So 12, again, I put everything 12 today. Um, just so it's nice and easy, you can get through the circuit without thinking too much. Again, make sure that you're staying midline. Don't let that foot that's up on, the, on your elevated surface. And we have steps. It's not too high. It doesn't need to be too high. You could have maybe like a couple like thick cookbooks or something like that to um, put your prop your foot up on. Maybe just a little step on your staircase at home. Um, that's exercise two. Exercise three, I'm going to have Angie come on down to the ground. Um, we are going to use the band. Again, if you don't have a band, don't worry about it. Just do body weight donkey kicks. So if you have a band, you're going to get it above your knees. Perfect. Good. Flip on over into a quadruped position. I'm in one leg at a time. She's just going to kick out. Very nice. Again, if you don't have a band, don't worry about it. Do your donkey kicks. I'm going to pretend again she doesn't have a band. I'm going to make sure you do a little extra pulse at the top. Yep, just to add just a little extra and then come back down. Add that if you don't have the band, just to give yourself that little extra bit, that's totally okay. And if you have a band or something like that, you guys can do that as well. When you're doing 12 per leg, she's doing a great job keeping her low back nice and neutralized so we know that she's isolating out her glutes. And this is 
leg at a time. We're going to do steers today, which are going to get your heart rate going really well. Add a little plyometric into your workout, so let's make your Instagram team. So, two feet at a time. So, you're just going to do the exact same thing, but two legs at a time. So, you're going to get a lot of glute meat into that, and she's going to do 12 total. So, just six per side. I will count. I'm breathing. I'm counting. I will count. Good. One. <laughs> So again, at home, you can do three to five rounds. No, you want to do it? All right, Instagram, I'm passing you over to Sefton. All right, so round around two. So off she goes. She's doing 12 reps. So I'm keeping that back nice and flat. Um, if you need to add more repetition because the weight that you have is not as heavy, that you're not getting as good enough of a burn, that's okay. Add your amount of rep count to what is appropriate to the weight that you have, just so you know that you're still getting a good leg workout at home. It might not be as heavy as maybe you're used to, um, but that's okay. Remember, we're just trying to work. We're trying to work with what you have, um, and we're still going to get it in. So please watch our next. If the elevation is too much, sometimes that can be too much on people's knees. Um, it just feels awkward to your flexibility or mobility in your hips. Oh, she's moving to the goblet style. Nice. Wow. Oh, mixing it up. Um, that's good. You guys can just do regular. So you can just do it with no feet elevated, just your feet on the floor. This is just adding a little extra element of inner thigh into her workout. Again, um, yeah, play sumo. If you have to do just a standard feet, toes pointing forward, that's okay, toes pointing forward. Um, that's okay. Again, I understand that a lot of people don't have that kind of mobility in their hips. Angie does, so we are lucky with that. So again, everything's 12, 12 per side. You're flying for this workout. <laughs> She's going into the goblet style again. Awesome. Let us know how you're doing at home, Instagram and Facebook. Let us know what you're using. Laundry detergent looks really good with that. Banded dunk the kicks. Again, we're trying to hit every single different muscle in your glutes. Remember, it's three. It's not just one. So we have to hit every single angle. Getting some hand straight into this, too. Good. Always core, because your core is always breast bracing to protect that low back, especially during glute workouts. It's really easy for your low back to want to decide that it wants to play too. Um, don't let it play. Keep your core really nice and braced. Remember, everything's good. She's even getting some shoulder stability work in here. Notice her hands are right here. Sorry, my hands are really cold, Angie. Um, Thank you. So, she's still here. So she's still getting almost like a little plank action going on. So there's a tiny little bit of total body happening to this workout right now. Make sure you're still breathing. Grab a water break if you need to. Again, we're doing three rounds of this today. Good job, good job, good job. I'm being nice to Angie. Um, so she kind of decided to do this. All my people are kind of last minute people. They don't know what's coming at them. Um, but at home, if you can do five, awesome. Go for five and let's do it. All right, she's back to her skiers. If skiers, I'll go to the other side of Angie. She can keep going. If the skiers are too much, because I know that's a lot on your knees, you guys can just literally just do side squats back and forth. That's okay. We want more of a, a body weight. We're moving more on this one, keeping the heart rate up. So don't worry if the jumping is too much um, with your knees or anything like that. Just modify it based on what your ability is and just do side squats. That's totally fine. You want to grab your water? Shoes. Okay, she's getting great. Right. She snuck one in. Like a little kid. Yeah. Oh, my shoes. <laughs> All right, she's back to her straight leg deadlift. Again, at home with a straight leg deadlift. If you don't have a kettlebell or your or a dumbbell, um, that's fine. If you're one of the um, young kids, like I had one of my high school athletes, she chimed in the other day. She actually just filled her book bag with her textbooks. And she was doing her deadlifts with her textbooks. Or do you have a kid at home that has a book bag with textbooks? Use their book bag with textbooks. Those things are heavy, and then you almost get a sandbag effect with it because it's unstable. 
So you guys have something at home that you can get some deadlifting in. It might not be as heavy as some of you guys are used to, but still some deadlifting. So we're still working. I'm working. Everything. She's yes. <laughs> These are not My heart is working. All right. Please go ahead. So she's still doing the elevated. Um, so her foot is propped up on the bench. So remember, if this is too much for you, your mobility, your flexibility, um, or just the angle on your hips or your knees, you don't have to have your foot elevated. I'm just adding that little extra element of inner thigh to her workout. Um, you can do this with no weight whatsoever. Um, a lot of people don't do a lot of inner thigh stuff, so this burns. You might, Angie might be really sore tomorrow. Yeah, so I can't tell you last time I did a plie. <laughs> so I like squats. So I, yes. like, I like plie squats. Um, so again, don't worry if this is really hard because this is one of those exercises that a lot of people don't do. Um, I like to do it a lot. Again, if you're one of my clients, you're welcome. Okay. back. can't go away. So again, she's doing a really good job seeing streamline. She's not letting that foot on the set push her too far off because this is staying under retention the entire time. So really good burn in the inner thigh. So, we're done with the plie squats. Now we're going to the banded donkey kicks. Again, if you don't have the bands, not a big deal. Add a little extra pulse at the top so while she gets the band in. Again, if you don't have a band, just go ahead, pick up to the ceiling, do a little extra pulse at the top. Just make it work. Make it work with what you have. So again, she's doing a really, really nice job keeping her hips neutralized. She's not packing off onto her left side too much or anything like that. She's giving a little extra element of plank work um, by keeping herself nice and stable. She, again, she's not rotating. So we're sneaking in a total body exercise on this, even though we're still focusing a lot on her glutes. So she's keeping her foot flexed, almost like she's going to try to stamp the bottom of her foot onto the wall or onto the ceiling. The band makes it a little harder to push your foot straight up to the ceiling. So she's doing a really nice job keeping that foot nice and flat. Yep, all right, we're done with the band and donkey kicks. We skip the weighted floor bridges. That's all right. Oh, Into the skiers, we never did it. We never did it. We never did it. All right, so one thing, because we were just going at it, because this is what happened <laughs> on life, is that we did not do the weighted floor bridges. So while she's doing the skiers, when you see the workout posted online, you will see after the donkey kicks that I have floor bridges. Well, I'll let her finish her skiers, and I'll show you just with weighted floor bridges. I'll let you catch your breath. Um, literally just floor bridges, I'll demonstrate. So come down to the ground, literally just floor bridges. If you have no weight, but you still want to make it harder, do one-legged. If you have weight, and that's why I had this plate, that's why I was staring. I was like, why do I have this plate here? Um, you can grab something again, a big cookbook, a plate. If you have a weight that can sit comfortably on your thighs, or at least that. Yeah, your child, your dog. You can do it like this. Hold it for a good count of three at the top, and then lower. So, yeah, we kind of were flying. Angie was into this workout, so she got going. I got to fight on the workout at home, that's what I'm talking about. Mix those in there. So there is. Hi. How you feel? <laughs> Look sweaty. Good. She's working. I'm sweating. All right. So the next section, we got the slider. So obviously not everybody just randomly owns a slider at home, but if you have a hardwood floor or a surface similar that you could easily grab a towel that you just put under your foot and slide on, now you have your own slider. So. If you don't have anything like that, or you just don't have that kind of flooring, that's not a big deal. You can do this regular. So there's just two exercises. We're going to do reverse lunges. And we're going to do side lunges. So you can do that without the slider. We're going to make Angie do it with the slider. So she's working harder. So she's going to do 15 per side. So she's going to do 15 reverse lunges on the slider per side. And then she'll do 15 side lunges per side. Again, she's doing a really nice job of keeping her back really nice and flat. She's keeping her chest up. She's not grasping through her back. She's really, we're getting Angie good. I hope you guys at home are appreciating Angie working her too. My thoughts. I'm a quadzilla. Oh, 
Same. I usually say that I feel like I can roast a marshmallow in my closet. <laughs> t-shirt, just anything that you want to grab that you're going to be able to slide. Um, if you're doing just regular because you don't have the ability to slide, not a big deal. You're still lunging. You're still getting those lunges in. Remember, it is 15 per side. It's just the two exercises. So she already did her reverse lunges. Now she's onto the side. Notice that she's keeping her body still mid-line. And sorry, you see here, she's still just dropping straight down. This, this foot on the outside that's not sliding is the one that's doing all the work. they can slide on so you guys have no reason why you can't get some really good lunge work going in at home Again, the slider also just kind of helps keep your legs constantly under retention so you're going to get some really good muscle hypertrophy going you're going to get really good burn lactic acid build up all that good stuff <laughs> 15 huh. 14 we're only going to make you do two rounds of this so just two more rounds okay one more round at home i have you guys doing two to three rounds of this because again especially if you're sliding you're getting a lot of retention on those legs so a lot of work reverse on this <laughs> 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 oh, <they'll just> <laughs> just like good deal awesome again if you're at home chime in let us know how you think angie's doing i think is this your first one is this your first appearance on a live video it is, it is. i have a bail on two oh right? i think we got a schedule just for two and some other things came up yep so Catherine, Ben, Stefan, uh, if you're watching at home and beating up Angie uh, now. What are they're all sore, right? Yes. Our trainers are sore right yeah. now. Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. We're dropping yes. like flies. Yes. Catherine is officially social distancing herself from me. The life of the best is all for emergency. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good work. Awesome. She's doing a great job. She is flying through this. Don't worry, Angie. Obviously, she's a trainer here. She's used to doing this kind of stuff. If you're taking your time at home, don't worry about it. We're getting used to it. This is most likely more of an hour workout. We're showing you guys about half an hour of it. Because, um, again, it's three to five rounds of the first section, and then it's two to three of this last one. But you guys will have this video of Angie demonstrating and me talking her through it to make sure that you guys are doing it correctly at home. So off she goes into her last round of her side lunges. Again, she's making sure that she's dropping straight down. Perfect. Good. So, she's not letting herself go with the slider. I think we all see people do that a lot. Um, she's working on having a lot of control. And we're getting a little extra core work out here just to keep her nice and stable. Um, yes, you will feel, like especially your inner thigh, of the leg that is sliding do work. But we want most of the actual power to come from this leg that's stable. So you're like pushing through your heel to really grab on to make sure you're pushing the floor away from you. And that will be helpful to make sure that other way. Is that right? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I truly get, like, <laughs> turned around. Especially trained clients. Like, okay, now we can turn to the other side. Yeah. Work? Yep. All right. She's on our last set here. Again, I, she's doing two rounds today. I have you guys at home doing two to three, depending on um, where you're at, where you feel how your legs are feeling, um, your fitness ability. Uh, what you're able to get in today. Good. Yeah. Deal? Deal. All right. So, awesome. Thank you guys so much. I've been downloading this on Instagram. So, thank you. Thank you to Angie. Thank you to Stefan who's been manning the cameras. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this at-home minimal equipment leg workout. Um, you know it's hard to not get a really good leg workout in. I think especially us trainers, we're, in, so we're always like deadlift, squat, like we want to go really heavy. Wait, wait. Yes. No. So you can still get really good burn in your legs. It's probably a little bit more on the toning side with this workout, but they're still working. And you're still here with us at Emerge at your house. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Let us know how it goes. Bye, Bye everybody. Thank you.